So there are two ways to do the crocheted cast on. The first of them is just a crocheted chain where you pick up the stitches afterwards. The both start with a slip knot and a crochet hook inside the slip knot. You wrap the opposite direction of a normal yarn over. So you're going to pick up, you're going to wrap the yarn over the top of the hook and catch it in the crevice and then pull this through your loop. And now you have a second loop and your first loop is down below. So you wrap over the top, catch it in the, in the hook and pull that through your old loop. You, over the top, catch it in the hook and pull it through. You wrap it over the top, catch it in the hook and pull it through. And you just do this as many times as you need to for the number of stitches that you need and then add a couple, I usually add two or five depending on how many stitches I have and how many, how much room I think I have to make mistakes on which ones I picked up. So once I have oh, a dozen or so, I'm going to call this good, I'm going to break the yarn. And then I'm going to pull this last one just through that loop and pull it all the way through. So we've got your chain and you've got sort of this braid on the front. And on the back are the bumps into which you're going to be creating your stitches. So with this I'm going to use a different colored main yarn. So what I do is you find the first bump on the back of the chain. And I'll put my needle in here and I'll take my, my working yarn and I'll wrap it around, kind of hold it in position so I can pull this through that bump, right? And then you're going to find the next bump. I put my needle in there. I'll wrap this stitch to knit and I'll pull that through. So you're going to find the bump, treat it like a knit stitch, get it in there, wrap your working yarn, pull it through. So you're creating this edge. So the reason I left room for mistakes is sometimes the next bump is kind of hard to find or I've twisted the thing somehow. And what you can do is just skip one. I'm going to skip this one for now and go on to the next one and cast on in there. And the reason I'm doing that is just to show you that you can make a mistake and all is not lost. And once you've got all those on your needle however many you need, let's say it's 10, <laughs> then you just got your working stitches and that's your, that's your zero row right there is your cast on row. And then the next row, let's say you have to purl. You just work all these stitches as normal. And the magic of this is that once you finish your project and you're ready to use these live stitches again, this crochet chain becomes a zipper that when you take out the loop here, pull that out, and this should just unzip and leave you with live stitches. On the underside of your needle.